So today we're in the region of northeastern Italy, visiting the historical alpine town of Vinsone. Vinsone is a small historical town located in the northeastern region of Italy, near to the border of Austria and within the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia and the province of Udine. The town can trace its name back to the early 10th century as Clausus de Ablicianus, which then later evolved to Vensone by the year 1001 AD in an official document pertaining to the settlement. The town was part of an ancient trading route that led from the Adriatic Sea and had apparently existed from 500 BC when the Celts had occupied the area. This was later developed during the Roman period, where the Romans had created a road that led through the settlement from the ancient city of Aquileia, not far from the modern popular coastal tourist destination of Grado. But it wasn't until around 1258 that the city's fortification began to take shape under the lordship of Glizzoio di Mels, who was a member of the ancestral lineage to the old Italian noble family, the Coleredo Mansfields. The historical town still maintains much of its medieval fortifications, including its old medieval wall, that were built to be 8 meters high and 1.5 meters wide and surrounded by a moat, and the remains of this can still be seen today. In the centuries following the town's fortification, Vensone was ceded to various patriarchs and overlords, including the Austrian Habsburgs in the mid 14th century and the Republic of Venice in the early 15th century following the latter's conquest of the Friuli region. Venetian rule ceased to exist in the town following the conquest of Napoleon Bonaparte of France in the late 18th century, where it was then handed back to France's allies Habsburg Austria. It wasn't until the aftermath of the Third Italian War of Independence in 1866 that Vensone would be incorporated within the Kingdom of Italy, for which it still remains part of modern day Italy today. Walking through the old town of Vensone is much like walking through an open air museum with many fascinating old streets and buildings that can enchant history lovers from all around the world. And one of the most prominent buildings in Vinsone is the Vinsone Cathedral. The Duomo di San Andrea Apostolo, or better known as the Vinsone Cathedral, was built over the remains of what used to be a small church, dating back to the 6th century and expanding in the mid 13th century. Construction of the cathedral began in the early 14th century until it was consecrated in 1338. However, a devastating earthquake in 1976 almost completely destroyed the building and as a result, a reconstruction of the cathedral took place between 1988 and 1995, using as many of the original stones that formed part of the original building before it was destroyed. In spite of this, the building does still retain some of its old 14th century frescoes in its interior and on the exterior, the cathedral is decorated with some 14th century statues and 6 Venetian Byzantine pateras. Adjacent to the Vensona Cathedral, one will also find the old baptistry, formerly known as the Cappella di San Michele, which houses a number of well-preserved mummies found during the 17th century. Some of the remains of the mummified deceased supposedly go back to the mid 14th century. When they were originally found, they numbered around 42, but a devastating earthquake in the 20th century reduced these to merely 15. An earthquake in the year 1976 destroyed numerous historical sites and artifacts. The earthquake's aftermath is still palpable in much of the town's modern character not only because it destroyed much of the town's ancient heritage, but sadly, it also laid victim to nearly 50 inhabitants and the town of Vinsone still commemorates this lost population to the present day. On the opposite side of the old town, one will also find the ruins of the Fortino Veneziano di Colle Nave. This was a fort built around the year 1617 by the Venetians during the War of Gradisca, which saw the Venetians defy the rule of the Dukes of Austria over the region. Running through the town is the River Tagliamento, often considered to be the last morphologically intact river in the Alps. Near to the old town, 
one can go down by the river bay and enjoy the river's blue curves close up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.